and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Dollar Bill. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Lee's kick is blocked. Liver kick. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Body kick is blocked. Real quick leg kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Massive head kick. Engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Dig and kick. Oh, collar tie. Good body shot. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. You gotta check these low leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh. Lips. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh. Final seconds of round one. How about those five minutes? All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Just misses with the straight right. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice punch there. And he switches his stance yet again. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Nice leg kick. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Single collar tie now. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. And he comes through with a big knee. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, nice. Just misses there with the left. Great punch. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. Lee's cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. Got the single collar tie, and they separate. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Ooh, what a punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Give it plan exactly where you want. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Nice punch lands over the top. Back in the clinch. Look for him to hang on his opponent's head and try to wear at his gas tank. Goes to the body there. 15 seconds. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And that's the end of round number two. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
many shots right now. I want you to go out there and I want you to... All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight... Oh! Nice punch lands over the top. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Lee's punch to the body. That one is blocked. Right hand upstairs. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Big head kick. Just a slip there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes now to go. Looking for that left hand, not there. He heard it. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big kick land. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. And both guys really... Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, you certainly staying busy and not just something. busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure this opposition. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Beautiful punch. There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. 
So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have done.